All right, let's dive right in. Today, we're going to break down a super disciplined strategy for the CATS quant section. And this isn't just a bunch of random tips. It's a system that's been tested across more than 120 mock tests. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how you approach this entire section of the exam. So let me ask you something. Does this feel familiar? You're hitting a wall in quant. You've done the work, you know the material, but your score just won't budge from that 15 to 20 range. You look at the clock and realize you're barely even attempting half the questions. Sound about right? Well, if that's you, the problem usually boils down to one single critical mistake. We get emotionally invested in a question. Our ego kicks in, telling us, I should know this. And before you know it, that one single problem has completely wrecked your timing for the rest of the section. To really break through that score ceiling, we've got to make a big mental shift. We need to stop thinking like a student whose job is to solve every single problem and start thinking like a test strategist. Your only goal is to get the maximum possible score, period. See, the old way is a total trap. It's driven by ego. It tells you to attempt everything, which leads to you bleeding time on questions that are just not worth it. The new way, the workflow, is all about discipline. It's about focusing on your strengths, making smart, calculated skips, and knowing when to cut your losses and just move on. Okay, so how do we actually do this? Let's get practical. We're going to use a four-step workflow that basically acts as a filter for every single question you see. This is what turns you from a frantic problem solver into a calm, efficient, test-taking machine. Here's how it works. Step one is a super fast 10-second scan. You see a topic you know you're weak in, maybe it's permutations and combinations, you just skip it, instantly, no hesitation. If it's a strong topic, you move to step two, give it another 30 or 40 seconds. Does it look way too wordy or complicated? If so, mark it for review and move on. Only if it passes both of those filters do you actually attempt it, and even then, you have a hard stop at three minutes. Can't solve it? Stop, mark it, and get out of there. You know, this whole strategy is really built on one powerful idea, no ego. It's about having the confidence to look at a question, recognize it's a time sink, and just walk away without feeling bad about it. That's not a sign of weakness. That is the mark of a truly smart test taker. But okay, I know what you're thinking. All this skipping, does it really save time? Does it actually lead to a better score? Let's look at the math, because this is where it gets really interesting. Okay, let's play this out in a 40-minute section. Those instant skips, they take you maybe a minute tops. The questions you mark for review, another minute. You might sink, say, eight minutes into three tough questions you try but just can't crack in time. But here's the magic. Look at this. You've now invested 25 solid, focused minutes into solving 10 questions you felt good about. You've efficiently processed about 22 questions in only 35 minutes. And the best part? After all that, you've still got about five minutes left on the clock. That's your bonus time. Now you can go back to one of those questions you marked for review, one from a topic you're good at, and give it a calm, focused shot. This whole system, this entire workflow, it is engineered to get you right here. The goal isn't to be a hero and attempt all 22 questions. The goal is to correctly and confidently solve just 11 or 12 of them. And honestly, based on a ton of experience, if you can nail 11 or 12 questions correctly in the quant section, you are in an absolutely fantastic position for a top tier score. It really is all about quality over quantity. So what does this all mean for you? How do you actually take this workflow and make it your own? Let's just quickly go over the new game plan. First, remember this isn't about hitting some magic number. It's about pushing your personal limit, whether you're starting at five attempts or 15. The golden rule always is discipline over ego. You have to be ruthless about cutting your losses on time wasters so you can spend that time on your strengths. Your goal is to get more quality attempts, not just more attempts in general. And a quick pro tip, when you do skip a question you've started, keep your work neat. You might come back to it and you don't wanna to have to start from scratch. So I'll leave you with a final thought to take with you. As you go into your next mock test, decide right now, what's the one topic, that one type of question that you are going to skip instantly with absolutely zero ego? Because making that single disciplined decision, that's the first step to mastering this whole workflow and really unlocking your potential.